Root and I are what are asking for a friend. A few okay. friends of ours need asking therapy. They need therapy. S <laughs> someone we know. Therapy. Literally like people who like go to marriage counseling before they're married. We want to get engaged, but <laughs> But we already have a lot of problems. My wife won't say yes, and or my my girlfriend won't say yes unless we commit to two months of group therapy. <laughs> We're fine. We just want to prep, like, do this in preparation. Okay, Drew and I are asking for a friend. They need they need therapy, so like they don't think it's us. Right. Possibly group sessions. In parentheses, not us. Nice. Just to make sure they don't think it's us. Right. Again. Of course. If any of you know a therapist, hit us up. Yeah. That's good. I think so. Tweet done. And at what point did you realize your parents didn't like you? Middle school. And why was that? Because I started wearing makeup in middle school. And why did you wear makeup? Because <laughs> I didn't care. You what didn't I care did. about what? Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, Andrew, you have to tell me that my hair looks perfect or not perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and... True. True. So to end off our little fun docu-series all about, sure, let me just, yeah, all about um, the reason we are no longer friends. Oh, we were no longer friends. Now we're friends. We decided that we were going to give some relationship advice. <laughs> Kenzie was like, you know the phrase, it's like, if you can't do coach or whatever, and I was like, yeah, if you can't do teach, yeah. Us, horrible, don't know how to communicate, talk, nothing. I would say we've gotten better. We were actually good at it now. It took two years, three years. Cause you have to account for like, you know, the year that you didn't tell me took, anything took or year three and a half. Years, took three years for what? For us to like be able to communicate well. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say that we communicate well now, but... Better. We had to, we had to film a three part activity <laughs> to start communicating. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best part about all of this is that we I found out things from the interview with you. Kenzie like doesn't post had... this video. She's like, that was great. We had the conversation we needed. <laughs> Get it out of the way. <laughs> like, it's, like, it's, like 20, it's like 20, it's like 20, I'm like, Kenzie, where's that, where's that video at? You're like, what video? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, we know nothing, so we thought, why not give some relationship advice? Mm -hmm. We did consider a career in therapy. I was just going to say, this has been a long time coming because we used to joke with our friends about how we wanted to um, do, like, re uh, relationship therapy, like, couples therapy, mm -hmm. because we thought we could No one asked really us for advice, pointers. though. Oh, no, we, we, like, literally were, like, begging friends. We were like, hey, can we, can we please, like, just sit down? Please solve your help? problems. The only people that took us up on it. Yeah, so basically the other dysfunctional. Like, oh yeah, the yeah. only two people that are like more as if not more dysfunctional than us. <laughs> as us for us. So question number one, how long does it take to get over a breakup? Um, I usually envision myself putting all of my emotions from that breakup into a box and putting that box on the top shelf. And then it's called compartmentalizing. <laughs> um and then just never opening that box up again and then I'm just like good the next day. Until years later, when you're still angry and the way you talk okay, I'm about kidding. I'm never mad. Good, I'm never good the next day. Okay, <laughs> yes, I do a compart compartmentalize on occasion, but it's not... On occasion? Like, it's not something that, it's not like a f quick fix. It's like, there's, it's still there. Andrew know? used to argue with me that compartmentalizing was healthy, and that's what you're, how you're supposed to handle things. Right, well, I think <laughs> that um, another good way is I like to just like distract myself. So like, if I'm like feeling like whatever I'll just hit up people and like hang out and like do something fun he'll, yeah he'll have fun but then he won't deal with his problems and he won't deal with the issues and he and also won't communicate away. them and they don't ever go away and then you have the same problem how many people have you had the same problem with lots of friends Andrew will tell me stories and I'm like so what happened with that friendship and I'm like wait did you have feelings for her and not tell her and then she dated someone and then you got mad and you're like, well, yeah, but that's not why. Like, it's exactly what's the why. Only, I'm not the, the only, only one. This no, the only with. relationship that you're talking about is the one where, I don't want to say married. her name. Um, but it's because, yeah, I never told her, but because she had a boyfriend the whole time, and I was like respecting that. And then she went and got engaged to him, and then they called off the engagement. But I just like we stopped talking because she moved to Texas and stuff. But... You love Texas girls. No, actually, she was from Michigan. She's becoming a Texas girl. She, but Is her that when it started? Texas. For Texas girls? <laughs> when you found out she was moving to Texas? <laughs> I, like, have a weird Texas kick. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh, you're from Texas? Okay, okay. Um, We're at in Texas. Oh, my gosh. Um, Are you guys happy for either? Either or what? Each other. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, well, yeah, I mean, 
That was a stupid one. I just picked a <laughs> typo. <laughs> I'm like, happy for, for you for you for what? No, I'm not. I mean, like, you're still killing it with your job. You're working on new shit. You have, like, basically your own house now. I mean, you share it with your friends and everything, but, like, half the house is, like, your office, so. <laughs> half the house is mine. Yeah. Have you shown them how gigantic this office is? I haven't done a tour yet, but it's really big. Yeah. yeah, the rest of the house is about the size of her office. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm very proud of you. I think you've grown a lot. So oh, yes, I am happy for you. Cool. Um, what do you do when you get friend zoned? What do you do when you get friend zoned? Yeah. We'll have Andrew answer this one. Andrew just goes about living his life. He literally does this all the time because he won't tell anyone and then they don't know. And then he's, yeah. No, no. The, the thing is, is like, like, how do you, wait, what was the question? How do you do with the friend zone? Or what do you do when you get friend zoned? I mean, I don't know. I got out of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. He just goes and visits the girl for two weeks while she has a boyfriend for New Year's and stays with her for, yeah, for two, a week and then extends the two her situations that, Then he moves in with her. The two situations that I have been friend zoned in, um, I just kind of like, like, I don't know. I just like go on and like whatever. I don't think I want this question in there, but I'll talk about it anyways. Um, just because I don't have a good answer. You know, like, and are these supposed to be good answers? Well, no, I, like, I don't have anything to say because, like, whenever it's happened, I just kind of like, okay, we're friends. Cool. Yeah, he does do that. And, um, and you stick around for a while, though. Yeah, I have always been, like, respectful, too. Like, yes, when you were very... dating. Very. That was not... Okay, anyways. Okay, whatever. Not... Like, whenever you, whenever blah, blah, you've blah, been blah. with someone, I've always, like, respected that and not made a move. Yes, and... Like, I'll come visit you and I'll come hang out, but, like, I never, like, like did anything that I felt would make you feel com uncomfortable or, like made the, anyone upset. The thing that I thought was really cool about you, not that, I mean, this would be, like, horrible of anyone to do, so I guess it's really not, like, a great quality, but I would still go to you for, like, boy advice all the time, mm -hmm. and you gave me good advice. Like, it wasn't ever... Well, I'm great at giving advice. I Yeah, <laughs> but it was never, shit. it was never, the, yeah, that's true. It was <laughs> never, like, manipulative or, like, break up with him, ever. It was mm -hmm. always, I mean, when it needed to be, it was break up with him, which was most of the time, but <laughs> there was you know? one time, there was one time I can't remember who it was with, but, um, but I literally told you, I was like, you're acting on impulse. Don't break up with him right now. You should probably just like give it a day or two and just like see how you feel. And then you called me an hour later and I guess you were at the airport and you're like, Hey, I broke up with him. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Glad I could help. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I miss like that Andrew. Yeah. Like I, I miss friend zone Andrew because okay, this so is actually nice to me. this is this you is one weird, thing though that but... that um I've realized about you is that and it's it kind of bugs me is that right. you're always like like you've never been happy with like the current me you've always been like you were so great back when you would wait on me hand and foot. You were so great back when, when you would uh, come over to my house every day and put Jack in your coffee. Or you were so great when you would give me all this relationship advice and then like, like, <laughs> but when I'm in those phases when I'm doing that, you're annoying. And then like six months later you're like, I missed that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You don't know how good you have it until it's gone. <laughs> Always I'm missing now. the I'm me six now. months ago. <laughs> no, I think it's just because progressively you get meaner and meaner. Or you got meaner and meaner to me. So, like, I thought that it wasn't going to get any worse. And then it would get worse until I missed the state before it, you know? <laughs> so it's more so like that. I'll stop that. Okay, how to get into a relationship. Yeah, I have to burp. Do you think it's possible to work on yourself and be in a healthy relationship at the same time? I think that... One of the biggest aspects of a healthy relationship is allowing each other to grow. And yeah. so I think that a healthy relationship is. can really only include like self-growth and also um, like focusing on the other person's growth and being happy for that as well. I agree. That was a good answer. That was actually really good. Yeah. That was really good. I'd love to see you do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so kidding. <laughs> I'm I really like, am so I'm kidding. Like, Relate really back to the last question. <laughs> friendship or relationship, which is more important to each of you guys? I mean, if you have to choose between them. I've always preferred relation or uh, preferred friendships. Be not not even like in the future, but just like at where I'm at right now, I'm not focused on a relationship at all. So I only care about my friendships. And like my parents have always told me that like if you're in a friendship that is leading you to a place where you they're making you like lose friends or like kick friends out of your life, then that's something that you shouldn't be a part of. In general, a lot of the time, the person that you're in a relationship with gets blamed when a lot of the time it really is just that person who's just choosing to hang out with them and not the right. other people. No, I agree. And, yeah. it, and that does happen a lot. Um, but I've just always put a big, like, 
yeah. priority on my friends I and like I not that. trying to lose them over other people. I don't know how I feel like six years, but I, I think I would still say friendships. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like who you're gonna marry. I was just that's that's, that's, yeah. that's why I said that I'm like right now I don't want a relationship and I'm not, not looking for anything like that. Um and so I value friendships most, but if I had a wife, I'd be like, yeah. You're my obviously. wife is like, yeah. How do you know if it's time to tell someone you like them, but you're, they're your best friend? <laughs> Let your friends do it for you. <laughs> Even when this is all happening with us, though, I was weirdly glad that you didn't say anything to me just because conveniently for me, it was when I wouldn't have felt the same way. Right. So if it, but also... Well, and that I kind of relates to the last question, too, because I... I valued my friendship with you a lot and yeah. I didn't and I knew that like I wasn't in a place and I didn't think you really were either where like a relationship would be what we're looking for and that it yeah. would be a relationship that would last forever and so I figured staying just friends was going to be like like the best way to like save our yeah. friendship. Yeah, but you just said that. I did tell you that. No, I promise yeah, you didn't. I did. And yeah, I did. I remember because I came over to your place. You said and I told you that. And then Sean called me the next day and I don't even you know, remember what he said, but he was like, You really should reconsider and just like give it a shot, man, because like blah blah blah. Like I forgot he called you. Mm hmm I did I he remember was that like he was he trying to like he was trying to like really pressure me. I love Sean by the way. I know Sean's wife. No, I was, forgot because I, I didn't don't tell think him. that I don't think that Sean had bad intentions at yeah. all. Yeah. But it was like for me it was like oh Kenzie's having Sean pressure me or something it I wasn't was like, it wasn't he was just mad okay because also imagine being our friends and watch you oh, know. feel this I way know. for a year and a half yeah. and then you for mess it up yeah. kind of and so like all of our friends watched you do that forever and then when you finally like had a chance they were like are you kidding with that they were annoyed but it, well, like, I, I get it I agree I'm right glad that we but like, well and like I told you too like um that I wanted to just be friends because I didn't want to risk like messing up our friendship and you but I think you look back on things and you think that we had a lot more crystal clear clear conversations than we did mm -hmm. but I agree with what you're saying especially at the time like it was just not good what's the best thing about a drew Adrian's a great guy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> best thing about drew <laughs> Just so many. I'm waiting. Big I know. <laughs> um, How do you pick the best out of so many great qualities? Yeah. I'm trying to think of you as a whole and then you as a whole in your entire body and then <laughs> our, like, our friendship. No, just think about my right wrist. <laughs> <laughs> the bracelet I saw is wear. <laughs> You've been very patient with me like throughout the years, even before things went bad. Like we still had a long time before things went bad together. Mm -hmm. You're very patient with me, but you also handle me well. Like you'll just be like, okay. Like if I'm being like, like not like actually dramatic, but I'm just kidding, you know? That's like the mantra to my life. <laughs> like, oh, you get a lot more people watching these than me. I know you in a way that like most people don't know you. One, <laughs> cause you don't talk to people. And two, <laughs> Like, honey, I'm just like sad. Can, 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 I don't know what that was, but you should ask me. We're very close and we both know each other very well. But we're, I'm like really comfortable with you. Like I would just, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just very comfortable, but we're very funny together. I'm with you, I laugh harder than I do with like everyone else. Like I have a better time, but I also will have a way worse time. So it <laughs> just depends on the day. Advice for how not to give up after the honeymoon phase. That's actually a really good one. Um... Do you remember when everyone would always just saw us that we were in the honeymoon phase for like ever? We're like, we fight all the time, like, <laughs> of our friendship. We're like, we've been friends for two years, like... <laughs> honeymoon phase was, like, gone and over a long, <laughs> a long time, time ago. ago. I had a really good thought and I lost it and I'm trying to get it back. I feel like if you actually have feelings for someone, you still like them past the honeymoon phase. I was just gonna say, yeah, like, I feel like the honeymoon phase really only happens because you're really excited about a certain quality in the other person, and so... Yeah, after the honeymoon phase, things get complicated, but like, I don't know, if you really like value that person, then I don't think that you should be thinking about giving up. Uh -huh. So if you're like, hmm, should I give up on my <laughs> new best friend? Probably give up. Go ahead. Yeah, so then the one thing that we didn't do was give up. Like, that was like maybe our issue. <laughs> we were just like attached to the, like, but, like this, we should have, but we didn't. I was <laughs> just gonna say that like, like the thought of like giving up on you, like, Honestly, never really crossed my mind. Yeah, I never. It was never. Even if other people were but like... But you even... did. <laughs> Two days after my birthday, you did. <laughs> after a year almost of that happening. It was like February to <laughs> oh, December. Know. Like, what did you expect well, and to that's do? That... Thoughts on cheaters. What do you always tell me? me? What do you always tell me? Uh, what about cheaters? 
once a cheater, always a cheater? Yeah, if they cheat, if you cheat on you. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you, yeah. I don't know. I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Never met a cheater I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating on someone is so horrible and also that yeah. messes up a person's trust for life. Mm -hmm. Like people really will always like be afraid of that, you right. know? So it's just, it's not. It's, it's very tacky. And it's also horrible. It's horrible. It's not a good look. It's not yeah. a good look. We're, um, how do you not rely on your significant other for everything? I would hope you're not relying on your significant other for everything. <laughs> just don't. Uh, how do you know when you're ready for a relationship? I don't know if there's necessarily a point when you think that you're ready for it. And normally I would agree with what Drew is going to say, but I think also... How do you know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm going to say. <sighs> well, because you're just like, you need to work on yourself and you need to be complete in yourself. And you need oh, to right, like what I just said, yeah. Where yeah. you're like stable and whatever. Right. Which I agree with that, but also I one of my biggest fears is having like a timeline for my life that I won't go up, that I was sticking to so strictly where I miss out on things that I should have done or had in my life like I think what if you meet like the love of your life when you don't necessarily think that you're ready on paper for a relationship like maybe you don't have the right job or the right you don't live where you want to live blah, blah 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 whatever it is but then like I think that things always work out in the end but I also think that you miss out on a lot by always wanting to be completely ready and I don't know if you're necessarily always a hundred percent ready for a relationship if that makes sense but also there are times when you're way less ready for a relationship when you just shouldn't do it because then you're gonna hurt yourself in that person right and I just think that like and I know it's not like the same for other parts of the US but I feel like LA culture especially is like you don't really get married until you're like 28 30 mm -hmm. like but like Drew hometown, is super date to marry. hometown friends like, like, date for, like three years right like hometown friends like they'll get married to like like I have friends that are like married now like it's a grandma. With, like kids Crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> what the? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What the? What no, the? but like, so I, I like, I'm not like stressing myself or like trying to rush myself. Like I know a lot of people do because I'm like not really trying to till I'm like 30 anyways. So. I also am not like a casual dater. Like, like if I, it takes a lot for me to actually like want to date someone. If the guy asks you to go to dinner or eat with him, is he interested and should I pursue? I don't know how to answer that because I ask a lot of people to like go eat. Yeah. And like whatever and doesn't mean that I'm necessarily interested. A lot of guys um, that are friends of mine ask me to go eat. And exactly, I don't. yeah. What was the question again? We're so good at this, it's unbelievable. Uh, if a guy asks you to go to dinner or eat with him, is he interested and should I pursue? Um I think if you're interested then you should pursue. Um but I I mean personally I don't think that asking you to dinner means I don't know, there's there's a big difference though too because like if he pays, where is he asking you to go to? Yeah, um, if he pays, then I feel like... Like, there's, like, different things, because, like, <laughs> when I have money, um, I would, like, go to dinner, and, like, I just... My instinct is to just, like, pay with whoever I... Pay for whoever I'm with, um, because I try to buy we're my both, own friendships. We're both like that, though, with friends and each other. Like, if we go out... Because, especially because we spend so much time together, we would just always pay for each mm -hmm. other because we were just together all the time. Like, it didn't matter, ever. Right. So, like, if one Well, person, and that's just, like, how I am, too, is, like, yeah. if I have the money, like, I, I want to, like, spend it on my friends, too. Yeah. You know? And that's... What do you think about getting back with an ex? You seem to have such strong opinions about when I do things, and all of a sudden, you have nothing to say. What if I had a strong opinion about when you do something? You're kidding. Oh, well, they're different. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, Andrew has very strong opinions about this. Maybe off camera. Um, he will... He's had some very strong things to say to Okay, me. I really don't want you making it seem like I just talk shit about all your exes. No, you don't. You don't. You're just like... I don't, yeah. You just care about me, so mm -hmm. you want the best for me. And it's nothing about them. That's the other thing. I think with relationships, side note, that is important. Just because a relationship didn't work out does not make either, pe like either of the two bad. Just mm -hmm. didn't work out with you guys. Like, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Also, 9 times out of 10, I think it's a bad idea. But I think there's an exception. And sometimes if you guys break up and it just didn't make sense at the time, then it makes sense later. And that works out perfect, but I think that um, hooking up with an ex is probably a bad idea 99% of the time. Because if you already have feelings for someone like that strongly and you've dated them, like I feel like that's just risky unless you're both on the same page. And then um, getting back with an ex is normally a bad idea. Like you broke up for a reason and it's easy to forget why you guys broke up, you know? Yeah. But also, who knows? I think there's not like a blanket statement. 
even like though we're I talking so fast. Because we're really just. I know we're like trying to talk about. Finish the question um, before the camera cuts us off again. Is it for our relationship advice from uh, the therapist over here? We're very good. Do as we say, not as we do. I'll leave you with those yeah. words. <laughs> um, very well put. I will have Drew's channel linked down below. Love you, girly. I don't know if you should link my channel or my Instagram because my channel doesn't have his Instagram. Right his what? Link your Instagram or your channel? I don't know because I don't know. There's nothing on my channel right now. Okay, but go subscribe to his channel anyways, and I'll link his Instagram down below. Um, spam his comments with Kinsey is the best. Love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you didn't watch our first two videos where we talk about all of our problems, um, feel free. They'll be linked down oh, below. Mentioned. If you guys want more relationship advice um, from us, I don't know why you would, but uh, let us know in the comments down below. There's plenty of reasons why they would. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can tell you what not to do. Um, we'll make this a thing if you guys want to see more. Love you guys so much, and that's it. All right. All right. Bye, guys.